Hey, Frank Salinas here with GrooveCart and Groove.cm. This is a quick little update video to let you know about some GrooveCart fixes and improvements that have been made in the last week or so. Devs are always working hard to keep improving the platform. So I'm just going to go over some of these and only share my screen with one little thing. Um, so right now, the public API had a fix to it where there was an issue with the stock quantity if you're keeping inventory. Okay, that's been fixed. So again, when I read these off, if you contacted support about something like this or you sent us a screenshot or you made a video and you had that issue, just know that it has been fixed and you can go back and check your store and put it to the test, okay? So the next thing, there was a, a bug on the checkout sometimes when you're entering your phone number and it'd be changed to the, the number one. I, there was a small percentage of stores that had that issue that's been fixed. Next, when setting up PayPal, there was an improvement of the method when you connect it. So you have the option to turn off and on offering the pay bar card option when they go to checkout. Because when people check out on PayPal, they usually can pay with their PayPal account or pay by card and you can now remove the pay by card option if you need to okay uh, there's a bug fix where uh, free orders let's say someone uh, uses coupon code on your store for a free sample or something like that that free order was not sending the item to the print on demand like print for things like that that's been fixed okay and uh, GroovePay is now showing understandable error messages. Now this is only if there was an issue when someone was trying to check out and the store was using GroovePay. It was giving like codes, right? So nobody knew what it meant. So basically what that means is now instead of just showing a string of code, it'll actually show the message of what the problem is. That way you can get back to support and let us know and then we can fix it. But this is only if there's an issue on the way to check out and it's using GroovePay. So it's a very small amount of people. So this is exciting. We now have the ability to add an alt tag to all of our images in the visual builder. So let me show you right here. Uh, let's just go here to Groove Gear. And if I go here, I can click on these three dots. And now you see it says image alt attribute value. So now I could say Groovezilla running or something like that. So this is gonna help improve your SEO on your store. So now any image you use in the builder, you can now add alt tags. So this is very, very exciting. All right, so next thing, we had a issue fix where um, the Google Captcha using GroovePay wasn't responding, that's been fixed. And then a few of the headers, we added all the headers back. There was some ratio and sizing issues still with mobile. We got those reported and we got those fixed. So you can check your store on mobile if you're having issues with that next the gdpr app was optimized so now the checkout process is a lot smoother and quicker so this next improvement was when you set up a countdown timer and you click on the element sometimes you'd get a white screen that's been fixed next there was an issue related to categories people were let's say adding a category and then later they were deciding to maybe change that category and put it back to home it wouldn't let you add the home category back after you removed it that's been fixed okay uh, abandoned carts. There was an issue where about 10% of the stores weren't sending out abandoned cart emails. That's been fixed, so thankfully for that. Next, the CSV import app had some bug fixes where there was uh, images being duplicated, products being duplicated, and cutting off the description. So all that's been fixed in the CSV import app. And then finally, when a product was deleted or didn't exist anymore, it would show like a shadow on your home page or wherever you had that product listed when you added the product list element now it's just removed completely now it'll be blank so instead of showing six products it'll show five if you had four and deleted one it'll show three okay so there's no more uh weird looking shadow so that's been fixed and one last thing just want to let you know we have a new theme coming out in the next week or so it'll be in the builder and it's related to pets so if you wanted to sell pet items this theme will be all themed around that so we're excited to be releasing that in the next week or so so be on the lookout for that. All right, this is Frank Salinas. We'll see you on the next training and the next update. Talk to you soon.